What's up guys? It's your boy Mike Reyes. You already know, back on my channel. And guys, um, pagbigyan nyo ulit yung glasses ko, sasabihin ko lang ulit. Um, Sabado pa, lalabas yung tong glasses ko. But for now, I need to wear these professor glasses. Kasi I need to find the cheapest pair. Para lang makapagtrabaho, kung makatapat na nga. Makaharap ulit ako sa monitor for the time being. Alright? So, yesterday we talked about two teams. We talked about the... Ano pinag-usapan natin kapon? The Rain or Shine, the last Patriots, and the last KS. So for now... Hopefully, magawa ko lahat itong remaining four teams before tomorrow's opening day. Guys, it's 7.15 in the morning. Mag-8 o'clock pa lang. Nagsisimula na ako. Parang uh, hopefully, papaabot ko. Matapos ko yung apat na teams for today. But we'll try our best. Alright? So, for now, we'll start with the Meralco Bolts. The Meralco Bolts led by Coach Norman Black. What's up, yo? It's your boy, Mike. If you know, you know. I don't know what y'all doing. You did it. Subscribe button. You already know. More basketball content coming your way coming into mode on the one because that means merong isang taong libre ang problema yung ikot ng bola medyo babagal so hindi yung maabot na lehas na but Marshall Lassen is actually on the oh. floor pero oh. Kapag oh. Yes, Kapag not, will be coming off the bench and uh inabot kay Raymond 15 footer rattles home and it's that simple yun yung butas yun yung to Alain Maliksi drops it off Jammer Hamito around fade away wala Pinto Pre timing oh. this one perfectly <laughs> Putting on a variety of moves. Gets it out to Aram. Long two. It's good. Trying to go pick and roll with Almazan. Play almost broken up by Castro. Jackson fades away. What a recovery. Alright, so for the Morocco Bolts, um, during the bubble, they actually had their best, in my opinion, I'm not really sure about the numbers because I didn't memorize lahat ng past all Filipino Cups, but... In my opinion, they had their best finish in recent years. Kasi, ang pagkakaalala ko si Meralco Bolts, malakas sila pag may import. Pag nandun si Alan Durham. Alan Durham, tama, di ba? Pero, minsan, they struggle pag wala si Alan Durham because, I don't know, they just, they used to struggle because they didn't have a legitimate big before Raymond Almasan came on board. Tama ba? Kasi, yun ang pagkakaalala ko talaga eh. Meralco Bolts, ang alala ko nga, they would, ano eh, they would, kumbaga bumababa yung standing nila pag all Filipino tapos biglang pagdating ni Allen Durham biglang naging quarter finals finals nga ay semis at saka finals sila di ba yun ang pagkakaalam ko you can correct me down on the on the comment section if ever may mali ako doon but this past bubble all Filipino walang import they made it all the way to the semifinals they just lost to the eventually yung champions talaga which is the Barangay Ginebra San Miguel but what i'm trying to say is i think they finally found their groove when it comes to the All Filipino Cups. All right, so that'll be very exciting for the Meralco Bolts if they can carry that, carry over that momentum, that confidence here in this next confidence na magsisimula nga bukas. Maaalaba ng Meralco ang uh, Northport Batang Pier. They're gonna start their campaign off against the Northport Batang Pier against Robert Bolling and the rest of the guys. All right, so for now, let's check out their lineup. Okay, okay. This is what I have to say before I read out their lineup. They kept their core. Yes, the main thing that they did during the offseason was they traded away um, Baser Amer, their leading point guard for the past couple of seasons. But guys, who they got in return is Mac Bello. Okay. Alam natin the Mac hasn't lived up to the expectation na meron nung pumasok siya ng PBA coming off a crazy UAP stint. But guys, Mac Bello has been playing hurt for so long. And I think this past season, this past conference nung bubble was the first time he's been 100% healthy for a long time here in the PBA. At talagang nagpakitang gila sulit si Mac Bello dun sa bubble natin. Maybe that's why uh, he caught Coach Norman Black's eye or Meralco Management's eye na talagang they made a way to get Mac Bello over he, over there sa Meralco. But yeah, they traded away uh, Baser Amer. But the thing is, in the bubble, obviously reigning Rookie of the Year, Aaron Black has emerged. Travis Jackson also maganda yung nilaro. Chris Newsom also pwede mag-point guard para sa Meralco. Kaya medyo ginamit nilang trade bait doon si Baser Amer. Alam naman natin kung anong kaya gawin ni Baser Amer. Pero yung nakuha naman nila in return, sobrang key dito sa lineup nila kasi now may pahinga si Papa Reynel Hugnatan especially in the elimination round ang ganda na nilaro ni Papa Reynel Hugnatan dun sa bubble but yun nga eh ang haba ng season 11 games yan eh 11 games yan yung elimination round eh. so you would want to give Papa Reynel Hugnatan enough rest para naman medyo boom boom pa yung ano yung energy ni Papa Reynel pagpasok ng quarterfinals at ng semifinals bakit bagay yun kasi wag natin kalimutan kahit 
Batang-bata maglaro si Papa Rainil. Medyo tumatanda na si Papa Rainil Hugnatan. So, Coach Norman, Norman Black would love to give him all the breather, all the rest during the elimination round para boom pa si Papa Rainil pag, pa, pagpasok ng quarters at saka ng semifinals and maybe the finals again para sa Miracle Balls. Alright? So, that was their biggest move was to, to was to trade away uh, Basera Mel and get in return itong si Mac Bello. Also, si Alvin Pasol. Okay, if you look at their lineup, guys, this is still the core. This is the team that they went uh, went with uh, in the bubble. We have Rainer Rukivdir, Aaron Black, Travis Jackson, Raymar Jose, Cliff Hodge, John Pinto, Chris Newsom, Mac Bello, Michael Cañete, Anjo Karam, Bong Quinto, Raymond Almazan, Raynel Hugnatan, Alain Maliksi, Alvin Pasol, Jammer, Hamito, and also Nonoy Baklao na injured pa ata with an ACL tail. But maybe, I don't know if he's gonna come back this season. So, looking at the lineup again, the core is there. Don't fix what's not broken. Alright, they just made a little tweak there, trading away their top point guard. They got back a solid Mac Bello na pwedeng mag-start, maybe, during the elimination round, pwedeng mag-start. Pwedeng off the bench, pero I feel like malaki ang minuto ni Mac Bello because, you know, Coach Norman Black knows how Mac Bello plays. I'm sure Coach Norman Black has watched Mac Bello in the UAAP and of course from afar din when he was playing with Blackwater. So alam naman natin na alam nila kung paano gagamitin si Mac Bello. Alright, so, rookies and new players, like I said, they just got Mac Bello. Yun lang, Mac Bello, they added Mac Bello, they picked uh, Alvin Pasaol. Sa draft, I believe Alvin Pasol is one of the easiest scorers in the game. Alright, let's talk about Alvin Pasol here for a while. Okay, Alvin Pasol, one of the fan favorites. My, uh, isa sa mga favorite ko dito, rookie. Kasi, number one, laugh trip siya. Number two, he's just a hooper, man. It doesn't really matter to him if he's overweight. People always say he's overweight. People always say uh, may hirapan siya kung ganyan yung weight niya sa PBA. And I'm sure he's gonna turn it around. I'm sure when he, now that he's a pro, now that he's with, you know, he's with pros every day, magbabago din yan. I'm sure magpapakondisyon din yan. I'm sure Meralco will find a way to get him in shape, in the best shape of his life. But all I can say is, Alvin Pasol is a hooper. Alright, every time he's gonna be fielded in by Coach Norman Black, he's gonna look for a shot. Alam natin yan, man. His scoring is still his number one facet sa laro. And I know that Meralco has a lot of options. They have Alain Maliksi, they have Chris Newsom, they have Raymond Almasal, Papa Reynel Hugnatan, uh, Aaron Black. But to add a piece that you know that every time you can put in the game will find a shot. And he is, you know, and daming galong ni Alvin Pasole. And one of the easiest scorers in the game coming out of college. Yun eh, may, kung meron kang taong ganun na... Kahit sa mo siya lagay, whether it be a spot-up shooter, whether it be off a pick and roll, siya yung pipik, siya yung roll, siya yung pop-up, siya yung kukuha ng bola, siya yung mag isolate Kaya ni Alvin Pasol eh. Or, although, we have yet to see if he can do it on a, on a PBA pace, but I know that this guy can play in the, can hang in the league, especially when it comes to the offensive side. On the defensive side, medyo baka, baka merong adjustment doon, may mahihirapan ng konti doon si Alvin Pasol because we don't really know yet if he's gonna play the 3 or the 4. He's probably gonna play the 3. I think he's too small to play the 4 in the league. Although, mala, positionless basketball naman na ngayon, meron naman ng mga 4 out there. Eh. I'm not really sure how they're gonna use Alvin Pasol but all I know is he's a, ho- he's a hooper. All of us know that. All of us know that he can put the ho- he can put the hole in the ball. He can put the ball in the hole. All right. So that's something to look forward to. Of course, Er Samboko Jin yani, de ba? Kahit sa basketball yan gagawa at gagawa si Er Samboko Jin. Kahit anong sistema yan, hahanap at hahanap ng punto si Er Samboko Jin. All right. Other than Alvin Pasol again, Mac Bello. I think Mac Bello was brought in number one because Papa Rinel Hugnatan, their main four guy. Kahit anong sabihin natin, Father Time is undefeated. Kahit na sobrang ganda pa ng nilalaro ni Papa Reynal with that outside shot na nahanap niya dun sa latter portion ng karir niya. Kaya ako mahaba talaga yung karir ni Papa Reynal because that outside shot is just crazy. Okay? And again, now with the game changing, the game evolving, your big guys should be able to hit the three. Alright? So, Mac Bello. Sakto yung pasok ni Mac Bello. Dun sa twilight years ni Papa Reynel Hugnatan, mag-guide pa niya si Mac Bello. Up and coming superstar. Up and coming four guy yan ng Meralco. I'm very, very sure si Mac Bello. So, maganda yung dynamic na yun. Meron kang isang veterano. Tapos, meron kang hindi naman rookie. Kasi matagal naman na si Mac Bello sa liga. Four, five years naman na ata. Three, four years. But, 2016. But, Diba? Alam natin na hindi pa talaga na-reach ni Mac Bello yung full potential niya sa PBA. Yung inabot niya sa FEU, hindi pa niya naabot yung sa PBA. Although it's because also 
and I injured nga. So if Mac Pelo can stay healthy and with the guidance of Coach Norman Black, Papa Rinil Hugnatan, Raymond Almazan, diba? all those guys, eh, hindi malayo, Cliff Hodge, hindi malayo talagang ano, ano pa, aangat at aangat itong laro ni Mac Pelo. At sakto yan, by the time um, Papa Rinil Hugnatan, it will be, it, it's sad to say, but by the time na Papa Rinil calls it a career, I'm sure enough na yung nakuhang knowledge, yung nakuhang experience, yung nakuhang wisdom ni Mac Bello para maging ready sa exit ni Papa Reynel Hugnata. Hindi ko, pina, hindi ko pa pinag, pinag-re-retire si Papa Reynel. Ha, alam naman natin na talagang matagal pa lalaro si Papa Reynel. Pero sinasabi ko lang, sakto yung pasok ni Mac Bello for the development, for his development, and also for Meralco preparing na baka nga somewhere down sometime down the road eh Papa Reynel Hugnatan calls it a career. All right? Okay? So yun lang naman yun ay yung dalawang players na pinasok ng Meralco through the draft and through a trade this past off season this long off season. All right? So for me it's really Meralco keeping that core intact and adding few pieces na feeling nila makakatulong sa team nila for now and for the future. Alright, players to look out for Para sa Meralco I have four guys here I'm not saying sila lang yung gagawa But four guys here that I believe will be vital cogs Tama ba yun? Vital cogs of this conference Alright, number one is reigning rookie of the year, Aaron Black Alam naman natin that Aaron Black has had his his naysayers, his doubters na Ganito lang yan kasi yung daddy niya, coach niya But at the end of the day though your dad can give you the minutes. Your dad can give you the spot. Your dad can give you that specific role. But at the end of the day, the winning rookie year, rookie of the year ain't a fluke. Especially against other rookies na talagang maganda rin yung nilaro. That's not a fluke, man. For me, yeah, totoo, man. Totoo yun. Maybe binigyan ng chance kasi dad niya yung coach. Pero guys, give the man his flowers. Na nag rookie of the year pa din siya. Diba? And I believe also... With this dynamic na daddy niya yung coach, that chip on Aaron Black's shoulders, nandun lang yun. Nandun lang yun. And I think that's a good thing for Aaron Black. Because he will not stop trying to improve. He will not stop trying to prove to everyone na talagang he can hope, man. And I, I'm gonna tell you this, during the bubble, talagang, mm, diba, the athleticism, the youth, the speed, the finishing ability, especially around the rim. If he can get that three-pointer, that pull-up jumper a little bit more consistent now, I'm sure marami siyang, marami siyang ano, workouts na yun talaga yung finocus niya over the off-season. So, man, Aaron Black, I just believe that tuloy-tuloy yung magiging improvement niya because nga of that chip on his shoulder na lagi na lang sinasabi, daddy niya kasi yung coach eh. I believe, ah, I'm not gonna play around, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell it as it is. Maybe totoo, di ba? Maybe my chance na binigyan siya ng chance. Kasi, of course, dad niya yung nag-coach. I also played for my dad. But at the end of the day, okay, if you don't deliver, wala din yun. Wala din yun. But the guy delivered. The guy brought home the rookie of the year coming out of the bubble. So I think it's safe to say already that Aaron Black belongs in the league and is something to look out for. I'm sure he's gonna be in other team scouting reports coming this season. Pero, here's the thing though. Last season, ginulat niya yung ibang teams. Talking about Aaron Black. I mean, Aaron Black wasn't like that when he was with Ateneo. Alam naman natin yun, di ba? I'm not afraid to admit that. Alam din ni Aaron Black yun. But, ginulat niya lahat ng tao when he came into the PBA and he actually played the way he played. So, this time around, this coming conference, I'm sure he's gonna be in other teams' radars na. Hindi na yan yung magpe-prepare na sila for Aaron Black. So, it's gonna be a very, very great season for Aaron Black. Nowhere to go but up for the kid. And again, congratulations to you, bye man, for winning Rookie of the Year last season. Pero... We'll see, man. We'll see. I just feel like he's a player to watch this coming conference. I mean, any rookie of the year naman, obviously, player to watch pagpasok ng sophomore season niya, diba? So, obvious ba? Alright? Another guy that I feel like Meralco will uh, will rely on, especially on the offensive side, I believe Alain Maliksi is their number one shot creator. Alright? Looking at their looking at their roster, yes, they have scorers. Yes, they have guys who can shoot. But, Alain Maliksi, for me, is their ISO guy. You get what I'm saying? Their guy na talagang pwede mo bigyan ng bola and can create a shot at any moment. Iba kasi yun eh. Iba yung... How, how, how can I say this? People can score, but only a few... A lot of people can score, but only a few can actually create a shot whenever they want. And Alain Maliksi is one of those guys. Di ba, may mga scorer na nag ng bola, pag kick sa kanya, so score siya. Pero may mga scorer na 
eight seconds to go in the shot clock, seven seconds to go in the shot clock, give him the basketball, then lalabas lang yung pagkalarong, kumbaga yung parang bata, yung parang naglalarong kalye lang nag-create, di ba, maghahanap ng puntos, konti lang yung ganun. And I believe their number one guy, talking about the the, the Meralco Balls when it comes to that, is Alain Maliksi. So Alain Maliksi will be a vital uh, piece also in their offense, especially pag mga ganun, yung mga shot clock down, bigyan nyo kay Alain, didiscarte si Alain, di ba? Last shot time, game winning, game winning shot, you need a game winning shot, you want someone who can create a shot for himself and for others, kasi kahit pa paano makaka-attract ng double team, Alain Maliksi is that guy for you, alright? So I think Alain is also a player to watch for Meralco. Third guy that you need to watch out for is Papa Rene Lugnatan. Parang, kailan ba ma... Like, this fountain of youth of Papa Reynel has, has... He's had it or he's been using it for the past couple of conferences. Nag-pandemic na, guys. Um, sa bubble, sobrang ganda pa rin ng nilaro ni Papa Reynel hug natin. And I think these long lulls can either be good or bad for Papa Reynel. Pero alam ko si Papa Reynel, very healthy. Uh, a guy who takes his his craft seriously, especially with his health. Alam niya na he's getting up there. But that won't stop him, di ba? Especially again with with the uh, with his stroke na nahanap niya during the latter portion of his career. He has had he has added that three point shot into his arsenal. Dati kasi nung medyo mas bata siya sa ilalim siya. Parang na nidel deo kampo, di ba? Sa ilalim talaga, dominating the paint footwork post up pero when he added that three point shot he also added years into his career he also added years dun sa career niya na talagang napatagal niya yung career niya at ngayon talagang gumagawa pa rin siya and he's still a player to watch for Meralco especially during the ano kumbaga pag pandiinan na fourth quarter de ba semis like i said man they brought in Mapella for Reynel Hugnatan to have that breather din especially during the elimination round kasi pag quarter semis and even in the finals kung umabot sila sa finals you will need a not so tired Reynel Hugnatan especially pag end game gusto mo nandun si Papa Reynel not only to spread the floor but to add that veteran leadership and that IQ that veteran smarts into your uh, into your five especially in the end game so i think papa renel hugnatan eh, parang ano pa eh hindi ko alam kung kailan niya kailan tala, when will father time catch up to papa renel but for now papa renel is still the guy the to look out for dito sa Meral. all right and the la- and lastly for me chris newsom man chris newsom has been has been Meralco's main guy or one of Meralco's main guys for the last how many seasons i think it's time for Chris Newsom to take it up another level. All right. Yes, Chris Newsom has been consistent. Yes, Chris Newsom has been has consistently been one of Meralco's core players or main guys for the past few seasons, but kumbaga ang ganda nung pinakita ng Meralco nung nung bubble that I believe Chris is one of the guys na take it up a notch. Kumbaga eto na eto ne na nanalo ne all filipino hindi mo na kailangan si Alin Durham para manalo so i believe chris newsom again with the all around guy both offense and defense and also with the exit of baser amer you're going to see a lot of chris newsom playing the point guard spot He's gonna play the point guard spot a little bit more now without Baser Amer. I know Aaron Black is there I know Travis Jackson is there but Chris Newsom is still your best chance or your best point guard as of the moment, best facilitator he can create. He his IQ is off the charts. I've been with Chris Newsom uh, before. I've I've tried to pick his brain, diba? I've talked to him a couple of times, and right away you see naman yung IQ ni Chris Newsom talagang one of the best in the game. So with him being able to play the point guard spot a little bit more, he's a big point guard. Alam naman natin yun. He's gonna create matchup problems. So. Chris Newsom is the guy that I believe this coming season, especially with the long lull, he's gonna take it up a notch. Along with Raymond Almazan, quick shout out to Raymond Almazan. Uh, siya talaga yung, yung big man na kinailangan ng Meralco para nga ma-fill yung void na pag nawawala si Alan Durham, solid pa rin yung ilalim nila. So I think Raymond Almazan and Chris Newsom have been in the league a little bit longer than everyone else here in this uh, in this roster aside from Reynel Hognatan and maybe uh, Alain Maliksi. But for me, Chris Newsom and Raymond Almazan will have to play, take it up a notch if they want to, you know, surpass yung ginawa nila last season nung nasa bubble sila. Alright, so exciting times ahead for the Meralco Bolts. I believe these four guys or uh, including Raymond Almazan, these five guys will have to really deliver on a consistent basis for them to 
carry that momentum over to this conference yung, nadala, yung nakuha nila last conference above. Alright? So that's Miracle's players to watch. Storylines. Okay, number one, can they continue yung momentum nga na nakuha nila nung bubble? Can they continue this? I believe that's the plan, obviously. That's why they kept the core intact. I'm gonna say this again. They kept the core intact. They added only two players, Alvin Pasaol and Mac Bello. So you know that that's the plan. They want to continue the success that they had during the bubble all the way to this conference and all the way into the future. Talagang they're gonna keep this core and they're gonna keep improving, keep developing these guys and keep that camaraderie, that chemistry intact. Para, you know, kasi pag, pag sinira mo yung team, nagtanggal ka ng isang core player, di ba? Medyo may hirapan gan eh. Kung bagay, paano may tutuloy? Di, uulitin mo ulit yung pagsa, pagsasama, di ba? But for this one, ang tinanggal nila is a point guard na feeling ko replaceable naman eh, especially with the, with the Chris Newsom nga there, Aaron Brock, Travis Jackson. They brought in a four guy in Mac Bell to help out yung minutes ni Raynel Hugnat and they brought in a Hooper and Alvin Pass all through the draft. So, that's the plan, man, is to continue that success nung nakuha nila ng bubble. Can they continue that? That's the number one storyline for Meralco. Can they continue that success? Can they continue to compete against the powerhouses of the league? Diba? Without an import. Kasi with an import, oh, alam naman natin na solid solid pumili ng import yung Meralco. Eh. So, okay? So, tuloy-tuloy lang to. Tuloy-tuloy lang. Hopefully, yung improvement nila, yung development nila, matuloy-tuloy. And can they continue that momento? Which is connected to the second, I believe, yung second storyline ng Meralco. Can they break through? They made the semifinals. That's just, that's the, that's one step behind the final step, which is the finals. Alright? And, they only they went to game five against Hinebra San Miguel. Game five, guys. They were one game away from the finals in an all Filipino cup, in an all Filipino tournament. Diba? So can they break through? Unang una, can they continue that momentum? Can they reach the semis again? Diba? Without an import. And then when they do reach the semis again, can they break through? Kasi when you get to the semis, for sure powerhouse na ng liga yung kalaban mo. Kaya nga nung semi sa bubble, kalaban nila Barangay Hinebra, di ba? Which eventually nag-champion nga, di ba? So alam mo that when you reach the semis, isang powerhouse yung mga kalaban mo dun. Alright? So number one, can they reach the semis? Number two, can they break through and reach the finals in an all-Filipino cup? Alright? So those two storylines ang aabangan natin para sa Meralco Balls this coming conference. Alright, alright. So there you have it for the Meralco Bolts, man. Exciting times ahead for Coach Norman Black and the rest of the Meralco Bolts. Um, with the coaching of Coach Norman Black and this young core and this core na di nila binubuwag, di ba, coming into the season. It's just very exciting. Can they carry that momentum? We'll see. Alright, they're gonna go up against the Northport Batang Pier tomorrow. Exciting times ahead for the PBA, the rest of the league, and of course the Meralco Ball. Okay, and there you have it, man. The Meralco Ball. My name is Mike Reyes. Take care of yourself, take care of each other. Peace and love. And we'll talk to you all real, real soon with the rest of the teams for our PBA.